back to my channel. I'm on the way to the gym. It's a Tuesday afternoon here in PA. And uh, it, it, it's just really hot and muggy, so I just curled my hair a little bit and put it up because I'll be working later. And yeah, so I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, we're at the gym and we're going to go and have a good workout. So I will see you when I'm done. Alright guys, we just got out of the gym and we're in the Walmart parking lot now. My hubby had to run in to get some gallons of water and um, some bananas and I forgot what else. Oh, a pillar drink for me. So, makeup stayed on pretty well though. What I did for makeup today is I did, you know, of course my sunscreen from Alba and if you guys want, you know, well, I'm actually planning on doing one, but, you know, like an empties video, but it's not, I'm not done with this yet, but if you guys want, like, you know, like, um, summer favorites video or something like that, leave me down in the comments down below because, um, there's a lot of things that I have been loving for summer. If you guys want me to share them, then let me know. But, um, anyway, I'm wearing my Alba. Um, SPF 50 sunscreen and I'm wearing my brightening day cream under that and then I'm wearing the wet and wild tinted moisturizer light to medium and then those are my summer favorites <laughs> and um, what I did for eyes today is I actually did bronzer in the crease um, the in the butter bronzer physician's formula you get like a whole you know palette of it of three of them I love that the uh, medium color not the dark but the medium I put that in the crease and then I did the lighter color on the lid and then I did um, cream brulee from wet n wild on top of that on the lid and then I took the darker bronzer and I did it in the, the corner brought it into the center a little bit and then I did um, just black eyeliner from elf and then I did some black eyeshadow for my e.l.f. palette underneath. And I did some of the bronzer underneath the eye as well. And I did the butter bronzer, um, you know, on my skin for my bronzer. I did the, um, the light and the medium. I mix them together. And then I do it, like, all over the face, like a three. And, you know, my favorite lip combo that I've been using. And, um... I didn't do any mascara today, but I did curl my lashes and, of course, my eye mythic beauty and my eyebrows. And that's it. And then I did some curl to my hair. Like, I had to straighten it first because I freshly washed it the other day. I wash my hair, like, twice a week. So, I freshly washed it the other day. And so, today I had to straighten it. And it was so frizzy. Gosh, I have, like, like you know, some wave to my hair. So, it gets frizzy sometimes. Huh. So, especially with the heat. So then I straightened it with my, uh, it's, it's a Moroccan oil uh, Tresemone um, heat protectant spray or something like that. And then I straightened it and then I decided to add some curls in it, but not curls, like little tiny waves throughout. And I did that uh, with my straightener. And then then I added some uh, texturizing spray. I forgot what the company is. Uh, uh, Herbal Essence, I believe it is. I don't know. But I added some texturizer spray. And I added um, some curl enhancer spray from the same company. And, and then I was going to wear my hair hanging. But then I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm putting it up. It is way too hot. Almost every girl in the gym today had their hair up like me. It was, I mean, not like, you know, they just like put it all up, you know. But I like having things hanging sometimes, you know, like, you know, frame in my face. And, yeah, so, <laughs> and um, that's what I did. And I just put it up, you know, in just a messy bun. And then I added, and I keep it loose in the back a little bit. And then I added like a little bit of a, um, bobby pin and then these earrings are really pretty these came in a pack from Walmart they're really really cute love those and I'm gonna put my glasses on but 
let me get close. You can see my eyes. That's what I did without mascara. I did curl them now. And that's it. Let me clean my glasses though. Wow. So that's what I did, guys. I didn't do anything. I mean, I do wear some makeup to the gym. You're probably like, Mark, that's a lot. Well, that's how it motivates me. I wasn't even going to go to the gym today. Wasn't even going to go. But I told my husband, I'm going to jump in the... You know when it's like, I don't know. Do you guys shower every day? I mean, it might be TMI. But, you know, they say as you get older, I'm getting younger, right? We're all getting younger as we, <laughs> as we age. Um, <clears throat> I, um sometimes don't shower every day, I shower every other, depending on what I was doing that day. Hopefully it's not TMI, but um, in the summer I do shower daily though, <laughs> but um, I just, uh, it was very sweaty at the gym today, so I will be taking a shower today. Very sweaty. I was very sweaty at the gym today from being it's so hot there, and like, oh my gosh, it was like, ah, uh, not fun. So our daughter didn't come with us today. She wanted to stay behind with my mom. We don't really like to leave my mom alone right now. We're still waiting on a nurse to, to start. That hasn't happened yet. So, yeah. But that's okay. If we do go to the gym all together, my mom doesn't come. I just leave her home and we keep her in her room. She has a chair in there, a bathroom, and she has a camera on her. But I mean, she likes staying by herself. So like when I say to her, you know, someone's gonna stay with her, she hates that because she, she's not, I mean, she's not bedridden or nothing like that. She was just having some falls, but I think it was because she didn't sleep well. So let me try to show you. I don't know why my husband put the camera like this, but this is one of those cute shirts. It says, be balanced, stay balanced. Stay balanced, and this is from Amazon. And then I'm just wearing a real cute color pant, and this is like a crop pant. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then these are my sneakers. I don't know if I can show, but whatever. The sneakers are cute. They're from Walmart. I got them a while ago, and these have some pockets on the side. They're so so cute. I love this color for summer. Um, I don't wear them in the spring, but I wear them in the summer. They make you look darker than you are, which is pretty cool. That's what my husband tells me. He says she'll look darker in them. I don't know. But they're real pretty. They're like a real pretty um, peachy, I mean, um, a bright pink coral. I don't know. It's hard to explain. And of course, I have my purse with me. So guys, I have a campaign to do from the same company that sent me the bridal veil. You know, the wedding veil. So, um, I know I said I'm not going to take on anymore, but I mean, this company is so sweet and I, and I love working with them. And as long as they have things that I'm able to share to my channel, like I did the wedding veil because it's summer and I figured there might be some summer brides, you know, but <clears throat> I chose a beautiful boho runner. So I'm going to be editing that video out after I do it today. That's on my agenda to do today or tomorrow. Hopefully I can get it done today. So guys, I had some other campaigns before this and I, I have that, get that Walmart video up for you guys. Hold on. Sorry about that guys. My hubby was calling in. I, um, I'm hungry. All I had today was a smoothie. Um, quarter cup of Fisher walnuts, like a cup of um, unsweetened almond milk, and then I did a cup of Faye yogurt, or Faji, I don't know how to say it, Faji or Faye, I think it is, my husband told me, um, the one that has no sugar in it, and then I did a banana and a cup of lime and berries, and that's, oh, and I had two dates, so that's all I ate today, and it's a really high calorie smoothie though, and if I put olive oil in it becomes more, but I didn't do that today, but I have to start. So I sent my husband in to get the stuff, and then I'm like, you know what, if they have, like, if you can get me like a chicken, you know, salad with just regular green lettuce and stuff, but then I told him, never mind, I was like, I don't want it. Because the soybean oil and stuff, guys, I don't want to put that in my body anymore. I'm trying to detox it out. So anyway, as I was saying, I um, have that 
Walmart haul to do for you guys. I um, got really sick, okay? I got really glutened, and there's no way I was able to try on anything. I just was not feeling well. When I, I actually filmed a Timu video in my gazebo, but not a try on, just the, um, you know, like the show part. And then that's gonna be of part one of part two. And I looked bloated in that video and I don't really care. I'm not gonna do it over, whatever, you know? I was also, it was time of my month and I also just was not feeling well from eating all the gluten I was eating. And so, I mean, I wanted to wait to film that, but I had to get it up because, you know. So anyway, I was a little bloated in that video, but I don't care. Know, whatever and I was gonna take it down but you know you ever like you know you're just like you know what I'm not gonna do this but I'm like whatever you know guys my, my channel is about me keeping it real right so that's me keeping it real thank God that's not me anymore <laughs> I'm not bloated anymore I haven't been eating gluten at all um, over a week or something like that or two weeks I think I don't remember but it's yeah I haven't eaten it in quite a while so anywho I, um, it took me a while to recover from that. I just was so sick. I was not feeling good at all. I wasn't being in the bed or anything, but um, I had no motivation to do anything. But I did do cooking videos for you guys, and you guys were, you know, like requesting those. I did do a lot of those for you guys. I um, had like a decor video to share some summer things that I did differently in my room. Going into, you know, I'm probably gonna keep it that way too for fall. So I have like different different things like oh yeah uh, like my um, you know my uh, what's it was it my purse collection for spring summer yeah and then it was my shoe collection so I wasn't in those videos because I was not feeling good but I still have to work and I still have to put videos up you know so yeah and I work for different companies and you know like they expect it to be done a certain time so yeah so that's what happened so so now with this company with the boho runner and then I had um, that other company for the for the chair pad that one I edited it out already and put it up I don't I mean like they didn't care if I had it up on my channel or not so I don't know if, if I'm gonna be putting that up or not I'm gonna see because I was not feeling good at all in that video I, I looked pregnant oh my gosh I looked pregnant I know I'm keeping it real on my channel here you know if you guys are gluten intolerant or you know somebody who is my gosh you look prego it's horrible I was just talking to um, a Nordstrom stylist because I actually just ordered something from the Nordstrom anniversary sale yay I've never done that so I'm excited to share that I'm actually gonna be doing a random haul I'm gonna have Kohl's uh, Nordstrom Victoria's Secret and Amazon I believe it is I'm doing all of those together because it's just little things for each one so that's gonna be fun that's coming soon I have so much in the works but anyway I was talking to this Nordstrom stylist and for my birthday I think I'm gonna do that it's free and she's gonna style me and, and help me pick pretty things out or whatever because I'm gonna put some money away I know I probably won't make it for the Nordstrom anniversary, so I'm not sure. But I got a really cool pair of black flare pants from PacSun. And I shopped at PacSun years ago at the mall. But my gosh, these are so good quality and they look so good on. <laughs> they are so beautiful. My husband was like, whoa, those are nice. <laughs> so they're really, really nice pants. Most likely going to wear them to the gym. But they're really, really nice. But anyway, um... So I have those to share. But anyway, she was saying to me, she said, I feel you with the gluten because I have the same problem. She says, I can't eat it either. I look prego when I do. My gosh, guys, my waist can go to a 36. No joke if I eat gluten. Sometimes a 37, and that is so bad because I'm originally four inches smaller than that. Or five in, um, yeah, four inches smaller. 34 33 to 34 I like fluctuate in the middle of my waist that's why I got sugar out of my diet the bad sugars I know I know I know I know I, I keep saying yes I'm not doing it no more but oh, gosh it, it was so hard but now when you 
see that what it's doing to you, like, it, I'm just not feeling well from having it. I did make that cheesecake recipe. You guys loved that. I did that because my you know, my daughter was craving the cheesecake and really wanted it. So I did that. But it's not going to be an all-the-time thing. Like, I have to detox from this completely. I mean, really detox. Not just the eight days, but really detox from it. And I don't even have cravings. I'm, I'm just so happy. God just took that from me. So I, I have, like, the healthier sugars. Like, the aloose and the um, monk fruit and stevia. Th th those are the sugars I do. So anyway, a lot of talking, I know. So I do have this really nice, really cool Walmart haul to do for you guys. Um, I don't have a lot. I did have a lot, but I returned a lot because they didn't work for me. And I couldn't show them on. But I did share them in the car. If you guys remember, I was showing different Walmart car hauls. And those were the ones that I still did share. Because I do get comments on my videos. Can you still share the um, pieces that you're going to be returning? So I had to still, you know, you know, like, so then after that, I'm like, all right, let me say, you know, if I can do that and I did so that's what I'm probably gonna do for now on is I'll do them as car hauls you know if you if I'm gonna be returning things back so that you guys can at least see that you know what Walmart is carrying but it didn't work for me but it might work for you okay but I do love doing the try-ons for you guys I have pretty dresses now the ones that I do have I don't still don't know what I'm gonna be keeping unless I wore it of course you know like the black uh, t-shirt dress I already wore that and you saw that in one of my vlogs but I didn't show the whole thing on so I'm gonna do those I'm trying to do that too but like I said like my husband he um, doesn't always come with me and I don't remember if he was with me that day or not yeah he was but I just wasn't feeling it girls I really wasn't I wasn't feeling it so that's why I got this Amazon water tumbler so I can start feeling better and drinking more water because the biggest thing I have the biggest problem is I wasn't drinking enough water so that Walmart summer haul is coming soon I promise it's coming soon I was thinking of doing it <coughs> today because I am feeling better in my gut and um, you know to edit it out and all that good stuff because but but I definitely have to do that boho runner it's like a two three minute video I have to send it you know I have to edit it all and I have to send it to them and then they approve it and then I can put it on my channel like I did the bridal veil but it is beautiful oh my gosh it's gorgeous and you'll see what I did I actually did not put it on the table so that's coming up and um so I'm doing that I don't have any more campaigns with any companies I'm um oh but I want to thank you guys. You know, I am an affiliate with Timo. And thank you so much for using my links, using my codes. Become an affiliate yourself. Thank you so much because I have seen it um, on the page of that. There's, um, you know, viewers or, or subscribers using my um, links. Hold on. Uh, that was my hubby. He um, forgot what to get. Oh, anyway, so how are you guys doing today? I'm just um, cooling off. It was so hot in the gym, so hot, so hot. And we have a heat advisory warning, so my mother is not allowed outside in this. It causes uh, heat illnesses. We are going to, so yes, and I do get questions. I do a full body at the gym. Um, there are times my husband and I maybe have just done um, a lower and then the next day go back and do upper, but that's really rare. We haven't done that in a long time. So basically we do a full body because we get here about three days, two to three days a week and, and then I work out at home as well. So I do um, jump rope. I love to jump rope. Um, and I do a lot of like, you know, Pilates exercises and I do stuff like that. So I did get questions and yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so that's what I do. And I, um, also have two workout videos on my channel that I did when I first started YouTube. 
I did it during the pandemic. And basically those exercises are basic exercises for beginners, for intermediate or advanced. You can incorporate that in your, you know, like, you know, for your cardio session, you know, like just after you do cardio or before, or um, you can do it as a main workout, you know? I mean, I love to do, I mean, like I lift heavy at the gym, but not too heavy, you know? But I really love to do floor workouts. I love Pilates. I love bar. I told my husband, if I can get a reformer. Um, yeah, I love stuff like that. Like, it's just my favorite. Um, and, of course, I do a lot of walking through the house. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of walking I do through the house. So, because um, we have a big house. So, that's a cardio in itself, you know. But you know what, guys? Find something that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be working out at the gym. I choose that because I used to jog, right? I used to jog outside. I actually did it with my other daughter, and then me and my hubby did it. But you can't do it in the hot weather. I mean, it's too hot. And then I hurt my shins. So I really can't jog. Oh, my arms are sore. <laughs> I really can't jog because I um, was hurt in my shins. Only place I like to jog is on terrain. Oh, excuse me. Is on a terrain surface of where it's like bumpy and choppy and all that. That's like my favorite. So that's why I don't like to jog. I don't like, you know, going around like a track or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. I'm more nature. Sorry, my nose is just... I'm more nature girl, so... Um, so I... Um, just say, find something what you love and do it. If it's riding a bike. If it's roller skating. I love to roller skate. I haven't roller skated since I was 16, but I do really well with roller skating. It's just living out in PA. It's really difficult, but... Um, if it's jump rope, if it's jumping on a... a you know, like a mini trampoline, if it's swimming, there's a lot you could do in the summer with swimming, right? Backstroke, hand strokes, all that stuff. Um, swimming is an excellent exercise. It works your whole upper body and it also works your lower. Then you can do maybe some squats, some lunges, um, you know, side lunges, different things like that if you're gonna, you know, incorporate swimming because you definitely still wanna do something like that. So yeah, just find something what you love. You know, if it's throwing tires around, I'm just joking. But there are people that like to take tires that, that they had on their car and, and keep rolling them. You know, like rolling, rolling, rolling right in front of you. That's a fun exercise. And it's a hard exercise. Um, whatever you like to do. If you like to jog on the sand, depends where you live, you know. Um, even playing with your kids is exercise. And just moving your body moving your body is so important for your body. It's just so important. Exercise is so good for sleep. It's so good for, you know, your health. I mean, exercise is so amazing for you. Okay. It helps you sleep better. That's what I'm saying with sleep. Oh, look at what hubby got. So this is what we got. And he got one. Okay. Mango's a tropical fruit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a, it's a tropical fruit. This is no added sugar, and it's pillars. Mm. And that real thick skin, so even if that has such okay. what? That real thick skin, so that even if that has the size, then it should be okay. Yeah. So what we're talking about right now? Just like our clothes. And what we're talking about right now is we're talking about. Say hi, hubby. Hi, hubby. We're talking about finding something that you enjoy and do it. It doesn't have to be going to the gym. No. You know, it can be what you enjoy. Yes. Like, my husband loves to swim, but we don't have a pool, you know? Kind of the yeah. Right. So. But we have lakes. Right. So, I mean, like, once he's in there, he just goes. You know, he just loves to swim. Me, I don't like deep water. I know how to swim, but not as good as him. I mean, I'm not a great swimmer. But just enough to, you know, if I needed to swim, you know. I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. I just like, I like to like just be in the water 
can just like maybe lay out on a raft or just float in it, you know? I don't know. He does more swimming. But find something what you love and, and stick with it. That's what I say. Um, I was about to say if you want to run behind a car. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. I am just don't know why I said that. But no. Find something that you love and do it. I guess you can do it if you're tied to the car. Huh? I guess you can do it if you're tied to the car. Oh, yeah. An important have protein after a workout. It's so important to have that protein, right? Cheers. <laughs> so important to have that protein. Carb is important to have before working out and also protein with it. You want to do maybe, I would say, 12 grams of protein before a workout and 30 grams of carb, you know, because you want energy. You need energy to work out. Protein's for building. Carb is for energy. So, you know, if you just want to have, and, and any time you eat, you always want to make sure you do your carb and your protein and a fat. You want to do them together, you know. If you guys want a video on that, I'll, you know, I'll be more than happy to do one for you guys. It's, it's really important, you know, to eat healthy for you to be healthy, you know. Did you get organic eggs, babe? I would say 80% organic in our house. We do organic ground beef. Yeah, basically. Yeah, about 80%. As long as they have it. Right, exactly. I mean, I mean, we do eat regular burgers too, and I don't feel good when I eat those. I really don't. No, it doesn't taste that good either. No. So tonight I'm making barbecue meatballs, and I'll probably film that onto this vlog. Um, I'm just going to take some ground chicken, and that's not organic, you know, but, and it's not free range ground chicken. You can't get that here. But, um, it has no antibiotics or nothing in it. So, I'm going to do some pineapple juice, some barbecue sauce, and, and some spices, mix it all together, and then, um, after the meatballs are cooked, I'm going to, you know, put them in that, you know, deliciousness. And we're going to have it on top of pineapple rice. So I'll probably film that. It's just recipes that I come up with, guys. And then some some I look for, and then, I, you know, like for the core. And then after that, I do the rest. But most of it are my own recipes. Like this one I'm doing tonight. And I was like, well, I'm just going to do this myself. I thought I had that teriyaki one, and I didn't have it. Oh, wow, it's raining. You guys hear that? See if I can show you. Look at it. Look at it coming down out there. Look at that. You see it, guys? You can see it splattering on the window. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> thank God, right? We were able to work out, honey, and, and not be stuck in this running into the car. Up. Guys, I am just 
did a vlog with our doggy, with our puppy. Oh my gosh, he's a huge puppy. And every time you go and visit him, he scratches you, he steps on you. I mean, I don't think Bear was a good name for him. Better <laughs> stop that. Oh my gosh, he made me burn. He, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have a, you know, a big dog. I mean, my gosh, he's so, he's such a love bug. I call him my love bug. He's such a love bug. I love him so much. He's such a love bug. But wow, 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 wow. When he steps on you. He has a nice one. I know, he doesn't know. And then he, like, puts his paw like that. It's so cute. And then he scratched me on my leg last night. Oh, we couldn't go to, you know, we didn't get to bed after one. But, like, we sleep in anyway. Like, my, and, like, our daughter's older. Thank God. No more. <laughs> kids have to go to school. I mean, summer's here now, but I don't have, we don't have younger kids in the house. My mom gets up early, but my mom does her own thing. We're not morning people. Really early. We, we got up today about, we didn't get out of bed till almost 12. I mean, it was, because we went to bed late, right? Yeah, well, we get up that night with the dogs. Right, exactly. Right. We had to get up early in the morning with Pebbles. Pebbles is our senior dog. So, yeah, it's a lot. She got up early in the morning. But, but yeah. But anyway, the last vlog I did with our doggy. <clears throat> was it with him or was it the one? Well, yeah, I have one coming up with him. I don't think we did food with that one. I think it was the next he went with us to do a Walmart pickup, so that's going to be a fun video. That's actually going up soon. Um, but I did another vlog of where I actually linked most of the things that I bought, like the organic meat, because maybe you guys are interested in that. I don't know. So I have all of that. You know, it's going to be, um, you know, linked for you guys. The organic beef from Walmart, the gluten-free things that I found. The only things I didn't link are like the lettuce and stuff like that. I figured you guys, you know, but like the, you know, like unique piece, you know, things, you know, products that, you know, that are gluten-free that, you know, I find and stuff like that. Because you guys like my cooking videos, so I figured why not link it? And then you guys might, you know, enjoy it. But, um, oh, these are really pretty. Look at those leaves. Those are gorgeous. See, this we is, had those barbarian. This is the type of house I'm talking about. Like, this is so I love it. I would love to like live in a place like that. Above our store. Huh? That's above our store. Above our store, yeah, above our store. You know what I'm saying? That that would be our boutique on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what time though we're used to our country now again. I know. I know, I love where we live, but I'm talking about like, you know, years, years, years down the road, you know, when Lizzie gets married and stuff, I might not want to be in a bigger house, and I want to be in a smaller one. We'll say, who knows. <laughs> to be honest with you though, even though it's a big home, you know, we're renting, it's pretty easy compared to a smaller home. I don't know why, it's because, like, I just don't do everything every day. Like, my husband takes and does the bathroom. I'll go and do the dining room floor. Like yesterday, I had to mop it. But it's not an everyday occurrence, you I'm know? Sure it's soap in the car. <laughs> There's more water than a car wash. <laughs> yeah. This is called like a sun shower, right? I don't know. I think that's in Florida. <laughs> Here, they just call it normal. I've been wearing my sunscreen religiously because I, yes, that's what I've been doing. And you know, I didn't know the importance of it. I mean, I did Mary Kay, you know, you guys didn't know this about me or maybe you did. I don't remember. It's a fun fact though. Um, I mean, I did mention it, but I do have newer, um, you know, like viewers and everything. I did Mary Kay for 12 years on and off. So I learned a lot about skincare and about makeup and, uh, you know, makeup application and skincare application, things like that. And I don't use Mary Kay anymore, though. And, you know, for my own reasons, I, I don't use it. You know, I, I use um, a vegan.
skin lines, you know, like I, I just, you know, prefer that more. Um, but I learned a lot about application and I don't, I don't remember about the SPF part because I think SPF was in the product already and so I didn't know the importance of it like I do now. So, um, since last year, no, two years back, I've been wearing it when I go out of the house because I know they say to wear it in the house too, especially my house because I have a lot of windows that are full of sun, but, um, I wear a natural zinc one. I don't like the chemical one, the oxals in it. Um, so I wear the zinc one. And I know it just goes to the, ooh, what was that? Wow. I know it, um, you know, just goes to the outer, you know, epidermis, which is your, um, you can look in like the outer part of the skin. So, but that's okay. I mean, it does penetrate, but it doesn't penetrate very deep. That it's enough for me. You know, I'm not out in the sun. You know, like I'm not a sun goddess or nothing like that. <laughs> Used to be years ago, not no more. But um, but yeah, no. I mean, SPF guys is so important. If you're not wearing it, do that. Do do yourself a favor and wear that. Your skin even looks better. You know, of course we don't eat sugar too. You know, like I noticed that too. And I don't eat sugar. Your fine lines. If you have any fine lines and you wear SPF, they, I mean, like they start to disappear. They really do. So, I mean, definitely take good care of your skin with SPF. If you're not a makeup wearer, that's okay. Just wear your SPF. But, um, and, you know, you always want to make sure that you do, um, thickest to thinnest with application. So, like I always put my moisturizer. Sometimes I do a serum and then I do my moisturizer and and then I put on my SPF. You know? If I don't do a serum, then I just do um, moisturizer and then my SPF. But SPF is always the last step in your skincare regimen. So keep that in mind. If you didn't know, I don't know. But yeah, so yay, it almost it stopped, right? So my daughter, she's um, eating, you know, like we buy those little cup of ice creams and she's been having it every other day. She's really trying, you know, not to want sugar every day. And I said to her, but you're having cereal that one day and then you're having ice cream the next, you're still having sugar. So, but you know what? God has to show her those things. I'm not, you know, her, her God to, you know, she, she's going to be 26 years old. But she's asking for ramen or Hershey bar again, and we're like, no, we're not doing that. I'm making barbecued meatballs, and she said she didn't want the meatballs, so then she can have the sugar for a day. Over rice. She didn't want the rice. No, she doesn't want rice. She just doesn't like rice anymore. Oh. Well, she'll like the rice when I make it. So I'm going to put tomato in it tonight. I'm going to do olive oil. I'm going to do um, a lot of good spices, minced garlic, some onion. And pineapple, she'll love it, you know. So, yeah. And my hubby loves to cook too, guys. He is a great cook. He used to be a cook, um, so he knows how to make a lot of things. But you know, he's been really busy with the dog and everything training it. So that's why you don't see him in the kitchen as much as you see me. It smells. Oh, this can't go on. Never mind. It's on defrost. So, all right, guys. I've been on here long enough. I'm going to cut this vlog now. Um, I just love talking to everybody. And those those um, hauls are coming soon. I just have to get this uh, boho runner one up. And um, I have some other ones that I'm going to be doing as well. It's You'll probably see the team news first before the Walmart. I'm going to be doing the Walmart probably today, though, or tomorrow. I do, but like I said, I looked prego, so, you know, you really cannot wear fitted dresses when you look prego. No. My husband thinks I'm ridiculous, but <laughs> I was glutenized, you know. And you guys know what I mean if you guys, you know, have that issue or know someone who does. So, it, you know, I'm fighting that daily. It's a, it's a, it's a daily fight for me. And like my husband tells me, I'll get it under here and I'll get back fat. That's what he tells me, right? When I get glutenized. Not me, not my other personality. No, it's fine. And I was like 158. I'm like, uh, no. Mm -mm. No, I like 155, 153. I don't want 158. 
said, it will go to your back, it will go to your gut, it goes to your face. No, I don't want that. So now, thank God, it's all better because I am not gluten-ized anymore. Or sugar-lized. <laughs> Alright, guys. Keep it real. What do we say? Keep it real. Keep looking up. That has all the answers. And make it a great day. And if life gives you, gives you lemons. Make lemonade. Bye for now. Subscribe if you're new. Because then you won't miss anything I bring you. Bye.